is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on having more focus, confidence, and the ability to effectively deal with distractions when competing for consistent high performance. Today's topic is athletes create a new response to pressure. What I have seen is under the best of circumstances, athletes are able to rise up to the challenge. However, it's under duress when the conditions are not optimal that really separates the athletes with the toughest mindset from everybody else where they start to have cracks in their confidence, they begin to have some doubt, worry, the fears begin to arise. And it's that mindset that really makes the difference between the top performing elite athletes and all the rest because there's not that much difference in their physical performance as you begin to rise up higher and higher in rankings. Uh, therefore, the mindset is what's going to help an athlete to be able to pull through and be able to win and have great results under all conditions. Uh, therefore, what I really wanted to say is that become aware of how you respond and let's see what happens during crunch time because there's a difference between the athletes that choke under pressure and the ones that become clutch players. It really has to do with your confidence, your focus, and really being able to have the skill set to come through under all circumstances. Therefore, let's go ahead and see what needs to happen for you to go from choking to clutch player under all conditions. The first part is pinpoint your challenge. Really know what the circumstances are that begin to throw you off guard where your confidence begins to fizzle away, fade, chip away, whatever it might be for you. But what are those challenges that arise for you that tend to distract you and really chip away at your confidence? After that, what's your pressure response? When you begin to feel that pressure build up, how is it that you normally respond? And I bet that there's a way to be able to see some type of pattern that evolves under these high pressure situations if you look back at your history. So really become aware of what your typical response is because once you become aware of something, then you have the opportunity to decide if it's still working for you or if you want to make a change. And then after that, perception. Perception is really about how you look at something. What I want you to really think about is are you able to identify what emotion comes up for you and how does that emotion affect your performance? Because what I would like you to work towards is detachment. Detachment is looking at the circumstances in a neutral way. You don't read anything into it, you don't take it personally, and you don't go into fight, flight, or freeze. You just read it, you stay logical, and you respond as opposed to becoming reactive. So after perception, we go over and we look at the pattern. The pattern is once again having insight around what your coping strategies might be under pressure. And is there something that you can see, as I mentioned before, that there's a history of being in certain situations that are new from you, being caught off guard where things aren't going as planned, having some type of equipment problem, or someone may be taking over you when you didn't expect that to happen that causes you to respond in a typical way and therefore there might be some pattern if you become aware of the pattern then we can begin to decide if we want to change it or not. After pattern is to prepare a plan. That means that let's become aware of the pattern and once we do Let's plan a new response for you. What is the way that you would like to perform in these different pressure moments? And that's going to begin to make the changes for you really being able to rise up to the challenge, be able to have clutch player responses in those crunch time moments. And next is performance coaching. Just like with your physical training program where you use a coach to be able to point things out that you can adjust and do differently, how to improve at a faster rate than you would on your own because there's some things you just don't know yet. Performance coaching is also about being able to see things that you might not see about yourself to help you, to guide you to that next level of performance because if you have big goals for yourself, there's some things you don't know yet and it's about growing into them 
to be able to rise up to the challenge and really have that crunch time response, being able to really rise up, be confident, remain confident, and play at a bigger game and a bigger level than what you're doing right now. After that, power play. Power, power play is really tightening down that plan that you have for performing really well during crunch time, staying calm, confident, and focused under those pressure moments, and having the strategy of a new response. Therefore, I want you to recognize that resiliency is the key to really rising up to the challenge when the unexpected happens. It's an advanced move and something that a lot of players don't prepare for. Therefore, resiliency is really what's going to take you through the tough times and have you come out with winning results. I want to really be able to challenge you on creating a new response to those uh, opportunities or to the moments that really uh, go ahead and chip away at confidence. So what is a new way, just one new way that you would like to respond differently when you're really in that struggle and how would that change things for you? So figure out that one thing, practice it, come up with your plan, uh, really play with it to find a way that feels genuine and authentic for you and you're going to start to move the needle on the dial closer to where you want to be helping you to reach those big goals. It, I would love for you to post a comment. What's one thing that you took away from this training video? What have you found that helps you to get through those really challenging times for really rising up to the occasion and being able to have the best winning results possible? If you're interested in my free special report, How to Avoid the Seven Mistakes Even the Best Athletes Make, Go to my website, expertsportsperformance.com, put in your name, email address, and you'll get that special report right away. Please post your comment. I look forward to hearing from you. Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com. More focus, more wins.